first time it's like the craziest time because I never set to fight a shirt no, this is like this but you know this is just I remember where I'm coming from I'm from shooter box in Brazil and yeah, always we learn the philosophy you have to be ready anytime anywhere this is Leila and this is the new one shoot his name is sugar sugar Ray leopard <laughs> I'm very excited for fight next week and be ready for this fight. I always keep training. Yeah. There you go. I bring in my stuff. I make sure I don't forget anything for the week. And for me, fight next week, I'll be amazing. We're in the Women Dogs and Jackson Wing MMA Academy. So tomorrow we're moving to Las Vegas. So I need to make my back ready. And it's hard to stay away from family. And I like my city, but this gym, like, I like it so much. It's the best place for me to train. So I'm a little bit tired at the end of the camp and missing everything but it's worth it. <laughs> the fight is this weekend on pay-per-view. Uh, you know, Frank Yeager's fighting uh, Brian Ortega, and Brian Ortega is this undefeated kid, and uh, he's got a ton of hype behind him. Now, with the change of opponents, it was a three weeks out or a month out? Uh, about four weeks out, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, different... They pose different threats. Yeah, they for do. Sure. They do. You know, I think they are similar height. I think uh, Holloway's a little bit taller. Holloway's obviously like likes a little bit more of a stand-up too. game. Yeah. But I mean, Holloway's no slouch on the ground either. He's subbed some, you know, pretty yeah, good nah, guys. For you know? Sure, so man. I was I was ready for a guy that was savvy on his back and savvy with submissions. So um, at least I was trending towards that. But obviously Ortega is much more. You fight Ortega, and if you win, then you go for the belt. Obviously, or have that has that even been discussed? Not really. I mean, they're calling it a, a title eliminator. So, you know, I imagine that, you know, I mean, I had the title shot before. Right. I, I don't imagine, you know, a, a win would, I'd lose the title shot. So, you know, I, I'm not really worried about it right now, man. I, you know, I put so much emphasis on this title and it just hasn't come. So I just want to worry about the fight and then we'll take it from there. The fight's this weekend, March 3rd, pay-per-view. Frank Yeager, thank you so much. I love you, brother, man. Right. Happy to be here at Phoenix. Thank yeah, you. Good to see you. Let's, uh, let's take a break. Thank you. you got a good one? Yeah, yeah. a good one. Fight week here is so nice. Super nice. Four hour drive from Phoenix, so it's the best fight in here. I wouldn't mind buying a house out here. We've been out here since uh, last Tuesday. Take advantage of PI. Check out some chicks. Check out some chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting Andre Soccer Mom, Andre Sukinta. Heading down to the locker room, we go changed out, hit up uh, our first workout of the day. Always grinding, always grinding, run, run this place. place. He's orthodox, he's a decent striker, I'm gonna breeze through him. We have probably 15 signature moves that are like, holy shit. <laughs> been working on him since he was 17 years old. He came down pretty green. Like we had to build him up. He didn't know really how to wrestle, didn't know really how to do jujitsu, but he's always had a really, really good kind of cocky mindset. Not afraid to put himself in uncomfortable situations. Andre, you're fucked, brother. La Perla Tapatia is uh, what they've been doing all my meal preps for my camp. Good, you? We typically change them up a little bit, but today they're pretty much the same due to his uh, strength and conditioning coach. We have salmon, chicken, and this is all turkey breast. We'll put some uh, avocado for fat and some almonds right now. All of these meals here are sodium free. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's like every game in the hood, man. They just steal your quarters. It's like the quarters. 
Well, hey, well, hey, welcome to the hood, bro. <laughs> The fighters can't eat this, man. Poor Brian. You gotta watch me eat. These guys enjoying these fish tacos, rice, beans. And like being Mexican even hurts more, you know? Because this is what I grew up eating, so it's like. I can look, but I can't touch. <laughs> Not a good thing that if you're on TMZ, it means you got caught slipping. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, this one's a good one. Don't worry, brother. This will be fun. Yeah, it's be cool. gonna be good, man. It's gonna be fun. Hey, man. How are you, brother? How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Ryan Ortega. Ryan Ortega. Hey, how are you? It's good to meet you. Likewise, likewise. I usually see all these guys on TV, you know, so it's crazy. Like, he's gonna tee it up, he's gonna I want to shake their hand, but I want to be a fanboy. We finally got some real talent in the building. Bruce Buffer and up-and-coming UFC star Brian Ortega in. They are both joining us. You're up against Frankie Edgar, man. What, like, what's, what's going through your mind right now? I'm just uh, happy, man. You know, this is something that I've always dreamed of and always envisioned. He's a legend in this sport. Uh, once was a world champion, and that's something that I that I long to get in my fighting career. So there's respect, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have to be those fake guys that, that sell something that's not really there, you know? Uh, I just keep it real 100, keep it me, and uh, that's what I do, man. Beautiful. Thanks again. Okay. You hey, you. good luck on Saturday. I got started in jiu-jitsu when I was three years old because my father, he had like an academy since I was born. He's like a legend in the sport, you know. And I won my first world championship at 14 years old. I was able to win the world so all the way to black belt. And I got my black belt 19 years old. I train like at the MMA lab in Arizona. That's where all my stand up and like my ground, all my MMA is there. Wednesday was my last sparring. Uh, there in Arizona, so I was able to come out here and just like focus on losing the weight, the cardio. It's good to have like a family environment, you know. I mean, my diet's like pretty, like really clean and like really like small portions, lettuce and spinach and tomatoes for like four weeks, six weeks before a fight, you know, it's like Pretty hard, just eating that, like still it's hard for the weight to go down. You need to do like a lot of cardio, a lot of cardio. I know Mackenzie actually for a long time, she's been competing in Jiu Jitsu. She's the top of woman in our sports. So she's a pretty like phenomenon in Jiu Jitsu. Work with Mackenzie is pretty amazing. Whatever I put her in the something that is different or to challenge herself, she absorbs, she learns so pretty quick. I started to train MMA because just to help my BJJ. Uh, and then when I won everything I wanted to win in Jiu-Jitsu, I decided like to go to MMA it was like really easy. I came into MMA with such a big community behind me that I didn't do it alone. You know, I think like the comparison for me to Ronda is Ronda Rousey is such a like flatter, you know, like because I know she's done so much. My goal is for sure to do like as much as her, if not more. But um, I think totally we're two different people, you know, two different styles, two different personalities. Uh, now tomorrow is Tuesday. I'm gonna leave to Vegas and be on Fight Week and everything. So I'm really excited.